Hey everyone, uh, this is Vignesha from Bizbot and in today's Facebook video I am going to show you a trick on uh, how to adjust the volume button if your volume locker is too tight or damaged. Uh, so basically all you need to do is to download a software on Play Store uh, called as a volume shortcut. As you can see here, I have already installed the uh, app on my smartphone as well. Uh, so basically with this app you don't need to have a uh, physical interaction with the volume locker button uh, so it has lots of it has uh, four important features which is a basic notification and uh, extended notification a floating window and a floating equalizer so i'll explain you each in detail now uh, so if your volume locker button is damaged or repaired uh, just install this volume chop cut app and uh, open the app and on the home page you see four different uh, options so basically the basic notification is all about a notification panel or a notification which comes in your notification panel with three to four buttons. Uh, it's worth mentioning that it occupies a less amount of space on the notification panel. And uh, here in this extended notification you will have a three buttons including a volume up, down and mute. And uh, this the third option is floating widget uh, which will be uh, which will be a convenient option for you I would say like if you're playing a game or if you're watching a movie and uh, if you want to adjust the volume or if you want to like increase or decrease the volume the floating widget comes handy I would say and uh, so this is the most important feature of this app so let me show you how it works so basically if you uh, if you switch on the or you tap on the basic notification you will get a notification you will get a notification just like uh, it, it's a settings of a basic notification where it asks you for uh, lots of options according to you you can choose any one of this so I'm disabling the notification bar icon so that I can get the notification over here as you can see uh, so <clears throat> so I have uh, in this option I have selected uh, all ringer alarm media with buttons so it will give me separate volume for the call button, separate volume for the media and separate uh, volume for the alarm. So that's how it works. If you don't want this basic notification and if you want to keep uh, your notification simple, uh, you can go for this green button theme or uh, extended notification and it has a theme as well which uh, comes with KitKat or Lollipop. So I'm selecting the green button theme over here. Uh, so as you can see here we have just a three buttons which is volume up, volume down and the mute button where I mentioned earlier. Uh, otherwise if you want, if you don't want to open any applications like uh, if you don't want to open any applications when you're watching movies and if you want to increase the volume of the, if you want to increase the sound or if you want to decrease the sound, the floating widget comes handy. Uh, so basically like hold on to it. So here is the floating application, floating widget, sorry. Uh, so with this you can automatically select uh, the volume for the notification and ring volume here. Here you can uh, select the media volume as well and uh, uh, you can choose, you can adjust the alarm volume also. So I would say if you, if your volume rocker button is damaged or repaired, uh, uh, just install this app and choose the floating widget. Uh, which will be convenient for you uh, without uh, you can work work on it without uh, any hassle so this is Vignesha signing off stay tuned to this for more such videos